All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to embed album artwork in Scratch Live 2.0. Now, prior to 2.0, if you wanted to embed album artwork in your files, you had to use a separate program like iTunes or Media Monkey or some other third party tagging program. Well, now in 2.0, you can embed album artwork directly in Scratch Live. You can also embed album artwork into formats that typically cannot have album artwork, like Wave and AIF. Uh, those are the lossless formats that Scratch Live supports and also Apple lossless audio codec as well. Uh, but now you can embed album artwork into all these file types directly in Scratch Live 2.0 without using a separate uh, program uh, like iTunes or whatever. So, in order to find album artwork, uh, most online record selling shops have album artwork for their files, so you can look there, or uh, what we're going to be looking at is the site called Discogs, uh, which is basically um, a big music discography of, you know, Music, so uh, the album address is discogs.com. All right, and let's try and find the album artwork for this first song right here, Serez D, Gloat. So here's Discogs site, so I'm just going to type in Serez uh, D. And here he is right here. And the release was Glow, uh, so let's find it. Here it is right here. And, you know, most of the... If it has an album artwork, it'll show it. So here is the album artwork cover for uh, this record. So what we need to do is, uh, you, unfortunately, you can't drag and drop directly from the web browser into Scratch Live. You have to save it first to uh, somewhere on your computer. So uh, you're going to have to window uh, both the programs. So let's just drag this guy right up here onto my desktop. All right. So there it is right there. Right here. And now back in Scratch Live, let's switch to the column album art viewing mode. And as you can see, none of these tracks have album artwork embedded. So all you need to do is highlight the file that you want to embed the album artwork to. And just simply drag the file from uh, your desktop or wherever you have it saved. Uh, you can also do this from uh, within Finder or Explorer if you're on PC. And just drag the file onto the album artwork column right there. And that will embed the album artwork like so. And in addition to that, if you have multiple uh, files from the same release, you can embed the album artwork into multiple files as well. So you don't have to sit there and do uh, each one one by one. So just uh, use your control or command key and highlight the files in question. And I know these aren't all from the same release, but just for uh, sake of example, let's pretend they are. And you just drag the album artwork onto any of them, and it will embed it into all the highlighted files. So... Uh, this will save you some time if you have uh, multiple releases with the same album artwork. And so let's just do them all. Just for example. And there you go. So that is how you embed album artwork in Scratch Live 2.0. Uh, pretty simple. Just save the album artwork file, the JPEG or the PNG or whatever, somewhere on your computer. And drag it into the file when it's highlighted. Uh, you can also drag it from the files panel as well. Uh, so you don't have to be put in window mode. Uh, but basically that's it. That is how you embed the album artwork in Scratch Live 2.0.